It's Kevin. It's Jonathan. And today we're gonna to go hunting for records. Come on with us. So today we're going to go to a few record stores here in New Orleans area and basically I am looking for a few Human League records that I lost during Katrina and maybe I might find some in the bins and I have a friend that's looking for um, Berlin uh, records and he told me to keep a lookout for them. Jonathan, is there anything you want to look at while you're in a record store? Uh, yeah, I'd like to, as always, I'm like Kevin here, you know, we're all big, huge into music and also movies, and there's also plenty of music out there that, you know, that's enough to be like, alright, let me check this out, let me hear that, let me sample this, let me, let me see how those new songs sound, so, um, I'll go check it out, but, uh, I'm curious, because I heard that, uh, NSYNC is trying to, well, that was back in my time, man, but they were trying to do some kind of new single, a hit. I don't know if this is true or not, but I guess I'll go there and find out. Uh, if not, it's all good, but again, I'm going to go check it out. So. First stop is Peaches Records. Well, guys, it's never a dull moment, especially here at Peaches. Uh, Come and find any old record y'all looking for in the past or present, and uh, you gotta love it. It's peaches. It's been a tradition here in New Orleans for I don't know how long now. Check it out. I did find Human League. I mean, I'm missing a, a copy of Crash. And of course, they have Dare, so we'll see what we'll do with these. Well, if you notice, uh, it all varies in price range. Like, you could take, and I guess it goes to show you how rare each cassette tape is. Some are more rare than others. Because, I mean, look. All right, let's take, uh, all right, I'm just using this as an example. Before Dog Day Dream, $3.98. Now, I know everybody knows them. Andrew Sisters, my mom knows them, $15.98. So I guess it goes to show you they vary in prices. Well, I guess it depends you know, on how, how much of a collectible, collectible and if it's it out is. of print and all that other and stuff. all that other stuff, right. yeah. That's kind of cool. That's pretty neat. I like that. And so far, this is the only Berlin I came across, but he doesn't want um, the 45 inch. He's going to put a 12 inch. So we'll see what, you know, what else I could find. I did find another Human League. <laughs> I found Fats Domino. I found my thrill on Blueberry Hill. Alright, for those of you who do want to go to the Mushroom Record Store, it is on Broadway in uh, Uptown New Orleans. And there is a small parking spot, so I'm videoing this so I won't get towed. Haven't been here before, folks. Kevin told me about it, so let's go check it out because uh, it might be cool. Let's see. <laughs> All right, Conrad, do you like this shirt? Let me know. <laughs> shirt, let me know. Oh, lead. Yeah, he likes lead. Hey, look what I found. Surprise! Queen, Brando, the Beatles, Cream Weavers, Wind Chimes. Wow. All the movies, huh? That's cool. Avengers! Army of Darkness, Doctor, 
it. No way. I like that. That was my favorite one I saw so far. Now. <laughs> Ghostbusters. Oh god, not that movie. <laughs> the Hobbit. Scarface. Was that Waldo? Yeah, it was Waldo. Jaws. Yeah, I knew you had to see that. Don't you have that poster? I do, yeah, but the thing is, this is not original. I could tell by the print. Yeah. So I read the original. So oh, yeah. yeah still. Oh, Gone with the Wind. Gone with the Wind. Um, yeah. um, you know, cool. And that was all the posters. <laughs> and last but not least, got to get my favorite um what i have to say about this one though it's got that haunted mansion theme to it i don't know if y'all remember the haunted mansion where you know the heads on top you remember that the from theme? disney world from disney magic world. kingdom but uh it's with the stooges three stooges. three stooges it looks like a haunted mansion <laughs> haunted mansion theme going on with the where well, they got the heads looking and they're like wondering what's going <laughs> why did you show me this all right you want us stephanie wants it i want it Tell Stephanie she's gonna win. <laughs> I'm mess. I'm kidding, Stephanie. <laughs> oh, look, Evil Dead too. The skeleton. Uh -huh. Okay, we're looking for a smash hit. We had Smash Burger on Magazine Street with a grilled chicken sandwich with smash fries, covered in garlic, rosemary, and olive oil. Mmm. <laughs> Good burger. Good burger. Yeah, come try this burger when y'all get a chance. It's different, but good. I got the, the avocado and bacon burger. Different. You got the chicken burger. <laughs> chicken burger. <laughs> you got the chicken burger. <laughs> Spots to come to as always. I love Barnes and Nobles. We are here. We made it. <laughs> ah! Well, guys, this is it. We found something going down my memory lane. Of course, this is JT. I had a hard time finding Backstreet Boys and NSYNC. However, this is his latest album. Look at that. Bam! Going down memory lane, his first album that justified all his solo hits. And then everybody remembers this album. This album went like, phew. We can't forget. Michael Jackson's Thriller, man. I'm pretty sure everyone has got a copy of this. I'm not sure, but. How many times you heard that album? Ever since I was in my underwear, you know, I mean, <laughs> Scooby-Doo underwear, to be precise. Yeah, I mean, this this it, this album's just been like I'm surprised it's even here, just because you know it's like such an antique. I mean, this is this to me would be like an antique sofa or an antique <laughs> <laughs> table or something like that, you know. So, yeah, man. I mean, it. Uh, 
it's a classic. I mean, who or who does not have this album? You know, I mean, and he'll be sadly missed because man, he was he was the king of pop. You know, everybody remembers remembers MJ. 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 Purple Rain. Which one? The, the picture disc or the deluxe silver uh, anniversary one? Uh, I say that picture disc. I picture don't know, disc. guys. What do y'all think? Well, yeah, because like you had like the Michael disc. Jackson Thriller. So. Thriller. Yeah. Are those make it more special that they're discs? Well, I think they're on more, a disc more and collective. On the cover? Yeah. That's what I was wondering myself. I give y'all a hint. We want to be going here soon, but not what you think. Couldn't find, you know, the records on that. But guess what, man? I found the CDs of them. Look at that. Bam. Bam. All right, I know I'm driving y'all crazy with this, but again, representing my boys here from back in the day. And I like Backstreet Boys, but heck, NSYNC, man, that's that was me back then. So, uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is a cool album cover. Can you see the changes? Doing it flip it like that. Nah, side to side was actually good. Side to side like that? Like that, yeah. Isn't that cool looking? Yeah. Look at that. Is that nice? Tell you what. Uh-huh. I think I'm going to want that one more than purple. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm not kidding. And since we are doing our music exclusive, guys, just want to let you bring this up, man. I know y'all heard Elton John's doing his last final to uh, tour he's doing in America. Uh-huh. I just want to represent him because he's always been the type of singer and songwriter that he is. He's done many good albums, and I mean, representing my good old Elton John. That cover, that cover. <laughs> I know a lot of people who like this. Let's take a flip through it. Come close. A lot of people like Depeche Mode. Well, I was trying to flip the pages. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing a good job. Nah, you're doing good. All right. Can you see him? Uh huh. Oh, he's giving y'all a sneak peek. What do y'all think? The Pesh Mode Monument. The Pesh Mode Monument. No, I can't get it. <laughs> he's gonna get it. Just have patience. <laughs> there. There we go. All right. He got it. He's representing today. Yeah, got that special shirt on, and you know, I don't know. See, this is them now, and this is them, I guess, like back in the 80s, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Barnes and Noble's representing. See, they have it here. <laughs> yes, folks, we get classic pop here in the States. All right, that's the end of our video. We hope you liked it. Uh, please uh, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. There will be more uh, New Orleans hotspots we visit, uh, some trips I'll be going on soon, uh, more reviews, more adventures. So if you like what you see, come on now and bounce right back.